So in the Electrical Workshop, Joe, we've got all of these Wilex products in front of us, but why are we concentrating on the Wilex brand in this video presentation? It's because we want to think a little bit more about AFDDs. So obviously that's been something that's come out in the 18th edition and has been uh, the subject of maybe a little bit of controversy, something yeah. like that. But we've got some really exciting stuff going on with AFDDs we now, have. Gary, and Wilex in particular are really exciting with what they're doing because what have they managed to do, Gary? What they've managed to do is take this dual module art fault detection device, which is strapped to a miniature RCBO, yep. A-type, yep. and they've managed to condense all the technology this side into the actual RCBO. So yep. it's a single modular. We haven't got one in front of us, but if we were to look at it, it would physically look like this yep. for size, and it would incorporate both the RCBO and the art fault detection device. And that is mind-blowing because I remember we were, not that long ago, really excited when we realised that these came in a standard circuit breaker size without the big kind of you know tower that you used to have on top of it. So that is really exciting that they've, they've not only managed to make the AFDD smaller, but they've combined it with an RCBO. Yeah. And not just an AC type RCBO, which we're kind of going off a little bit now, yeah. but... Yeah, it's into an A type RCBO. But where did we get to our hands on the product? And you're gonna see that in this video. So where did we get our hands on the product? We were at our live feed event for eFix down in Bicester, and we met Johnny from Wilex. We, we don't learn people's surnames apparently when we meet them at trade shows and stuff, so... We it's <laughs> Johnny, and his surname is from, from Wilex. Wilex. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we got to meet Johnny, and he had with him, didn't he, had one of those new single module AFDD RCBO combos and we got to have a little a little hold of it. We do and that's what we're going to cut to next in the footage. Yeah. You're going to see Johnny explain the features of this miniature art fault detection device and yeah. RCBO, in other words one that's condensed into a single module and he'll introduce two new fuse size ratings and one of them was almost mind-blowing. So <laughs> hold on for that part of the footage next. So eFix, right at the cutting edge of the latest technology Johnny's brought to me. What have we got there, Johnny? We've got the single module arc fault detection device. It's been out just over a week. Um, really excited to have it. It's got loads of features and benefits. Indication on the bottom there to show you which type of fault has been found. Yeah, really good. So we're now looking at the art fault detection device being a single modular from a two yeah. modular. So, so we've condensed all of that technology into one unit, but I think you've changed a few things as well. This caught me out nearly. You don't make one in 13 amps, do you? We do. We've got multi, we've got a, a six, a 10, a 13, a 16, a 20, a 25, 32 and a 40 amp version available. It's, uh, yeah, it's really exciting. So it's MCB sized, type A RCBO. Yep. So you've got your switch neutral, safety connections on the bottom, quick release system, light indication, which you can see on the, on the display behind us. Gives you indication as to what type of faults have been found. Yeah, really good. I'm looking forward to you guys having a look at it, having a test and seeing what you can come up with. But can I buy one? You can, they're available now. Um, in small numbers, available now. We're building up stocks. Proper full launch, if you want to start stocking it, we're looking at sort of three weeks. But yeah, it's available as of today. New tech from eFix. Thank you.
and they are the worst side yeah, cars known to man. Where's the seat cushion? It's, 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 it's like the reasonably priced car, you can't have any decent shit. I apologise for that, mate. No, it's off. Don't look at him. 